The Shop Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the fill color of custom shape. Now, I've got a custom shape there, I'm just going to remove that custom shape. So, first thing to do, remove that custom shape. Just go over here to the custom shape tool and then select a shape. I'm going to use one of these flower designs from Graphic Extras and set the fill color here. So, you can just set it very quickly here. You can also set stroke color. I'm going to go for the fill color in this video. So just set the fill color there and apply it. Now you can also apply it as a gradient as well as a pattern. And I'm going to show you how you actually can change it once you've actually applied it. So you've got this design here. Now you can see it's obviously in an orange flesh color. Now what you can do then is just go there, go over to layers, and I'm just going to bring this up here, and just double click on that and you can change the color very quickly. So just go around there maybe make it to blue, click OK. There's another feature you can do, just quickly go to layer and layer content options. And again, you can do exactly the same thing. So you can change the color there. Now, if you want to actually change the color to something else, so you just go there and click there. And now you can do, you can change the color, just say to a gradient or pattern. So you can go for a pattern there, Obviously not, but the contour pattern doesn't particularly say like doesn't look particularly well with a flower maybe. But I'm gonna go with say gradient at first. So again you can do the same as before. You can just go over here, got this flower design, custom shape, just click on there, and then you've got the gradient. You can't actually change whether it's a gradient, pattern, etc. at this point. You can only just change the actual content. So you can just change it like that, just go through and change the colour as well as move it around if you wish. Click OK. Right, you can also change the colour in a few other ways. And I'm just going to quickly show one thing here before I go, just fill colour. And you can actually also set, because I always forget that, you can set solid colour, gradient and pattern. You can change the size of patterns, etc. You can also go for no fill. So you can set it to that and then set a stroke to say something like that. So you can actually see the stroke there. So I'll make it a bit bigger so you can actually see that. So there's also other ways of changing the colour, and I'm just going to go back to the design there. What you can do, you can turn it into a smart object. That's one possibility. So smart object and convert to smart object. So just go there. Now it's a smart object. What you can do, you can just go to, just going to go up there, just drag that image and adjustments and hue and saturation. Just go there. You can just drag that around, colorize. Click there, so change that, change that, and you can see then the color of the design. So you can move, modify the color. You can also apply various filters. So I'm just going to go to filters, and you can apply like camera raw filter, go into that, and then modify the color of the shape. And again, the thing is, you can see you can tweak it there via temperature and as well as other settings. Click OK, and of course, you can then go and change it all via here. So you decide. You don't want that layers panel just go there just that you can modify very quickly and easy that way as well also I'm just going to undo that I'm just going to go back to the original shapes so that's original shape nothing touched also go to a layer and a layer style and go to like color overlay or gradient overlay if you want to add a gradient color overlay and just add a color overlay and that again red there and it's still live, so you can change it at any point. So just go over here, click on there, and change the color. That's it, there's a run through of a number of ways of changing the color, or should say the fill of a custom shape. If you found this of interest, thank you very much.